DJ Marfori, and this is Celebrity Top 10. We give you the latest, the juiciest, and the hottest entertainment news, mapa local man or international. Yan ang hatid namin sa inyo because here's a countdown you shouldn't miss the new normal. You can't resist. Let's start this Monday with a bang at number 10. All right, so here we go for number 10. Uh, we're going to give you the lowdown on what is happening in Hollywood. Well, we're going to do Tweety as he, he, she, ano nga ba siya? <laughs> well, Tweety celebrates 80th anniversary. 80 as in Lolo level. <laughs> Lola, would you believe that the beloved Looney Tunes character is turning 80 in celebration of her 80th birthday? Warner Media is unveiling 80 murals of Tweety across the world. Alala nyo ba nung 90s no si Tweety pinatato ni ano Claudine Barreto sa kanya? Nakakaloka, di ba? Pero anyway, will will Tweety have a resurgence now that that? He, she, they is 80 years old. Well, according to the Hollywood Reporter, 16 different artists set murals in 30 different cities, including the UK, Germany, France, Poland, Spain, Italy, Mexico, Brazil, USA, and UAE. Nakalimutan nila yung Pilipinas. Ding, ding, ding. Alam mo, promise, nung bata ko, lahat ng tao may Tweety Bird. As in, uh, may it be a toy, a keychain, a stuffed toy. Yeah, or what I said about Claudine, a tattoo, right? So anyway, guys, lots of activities was held on the way leading to Tweety's official anniversary. This is on November still, huh? But a lot of activities are already on the way. Included are, of course, the festivities and animated series. And let's watch out for the resurgence of Tweety real soon. We do have news about this as Sean Levy directs Deadpool 3. Ding, ding, ding. Deadpool 3 might be a Ryan Reynolds and Sean Levy collaboration yet again. Yup, he is in negotiations to direct Ryan for Deadpool 3. The first two collabs in Free Guy and the Adam Project were, were very successful, really. And the Adam Project dropped last Friday, if you guys are wondering if you want to see it on Netflix. So circling back to this, the first release of Deadpool in 2016 was directed by Tim Miller, while its sequel was under David Light. Well, what do you think if Sean Levy did direct Deadpool? What would it look like? The release date is yet to be announced for the third install installment of the hit Marvel movie. And I think the strength of Ryan Reynolds here is, is that he is his own humor. He has it. He no one can replicate that kind of comedy that he brings to the table. So whatever uh, tragic story Deadpool, well, backstory of Deadpool might have or whatnot, I think it's going to be very successful because Deadpool really is Ryan and no one else. This has been the viral music video of the weekend as Megan the Stallion collaborates with Dua Lipa. <laughs> lovely, 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 lovely. So, talking about this, the multi-Grammy award-winning icon, Megan The Stallion, unites the fellow Grammy-winning global pop superstar Dua Lipa to release Sweetest Pie, 2022's certified hot girl anthem, and the first single from Megan's forthcoming album. It's a super delicious, sexy track, guys. Have you seen it? It celebrates women. And in the music video, it's directed by Dave Myers and produced by Free and Joy. Alam mo na, pag Dave Myers, di ba? Britney Spears panahon pa lang. Pak na pak na talaga yung mga music video niya. So anyway, guys, the song is out now in different streaming places. For now, here's a glimpse of the song Sweetest Pie from Megan the Stallion. Ooh, All right, we proceed now to number seven. Sad news as Emilio Delgado of Sesame Street passed away. 
Fans and avid viewers of Sesame Street have known him as Luis Rodriguez, the beloved Fix-It shop owner. Ding, ding, ding. However, the curtain is closed for Emilio Delgado, who played the role. He was 81. Ding, ding, ding. Emilio's character was known for Spanish language learning and Hispanic cultural lessons. He also performed guitar during musical segments of the hit children's show. He has been in Sesame Street for 44 years, from 1971 to 2015. Rest in peace, Emilio. The Kardashian-Jenner family is set to premiere the new reality series. Ding, ding, ding. The Kardashian-Jenners are back for a reality show. So the upcoming show stars Courtney, Kim, Kylie, Kendall, and Chris, and other members of their family. So according to Variety, the Kardashians will be earning nine figures, but Chloe said they are all equal. They will receive the same salary. So the Kardashians will premiere April on Hulu. Uh, before we move on and give you a glimpse of the Kardashians, that will premiere. What do you think? Do you think it's the start of the decline of the Kardashian? I mean, they will be there forever. They're very iconic. Don't get me wrong. But uh, do you feel something dismal about their brands? It, it's, oh, don't get me wrong. Okay? They're billionaires. They're multimillionaires. Uh, the brands sell really well. But of course, for the height, do you think that they've reached the climax of their popularity already? Have they maxed it out yet? Or will there be another spin-off to their fame? Let me know down in the comments below because I'm very, very curious about this. Since they're part, they're a big part of pop culture. A lot of women wants to look like them, so on and so forth. But yeah, right now we're gonna give you a glimpse. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. All right, we're halfway on the show. Hello, all in addicts and OMJ supporters, and happy birthday for Line. I'm a former sports anchor. I'm in a busy, busy campaign, diba? So, guys, just to give you a lowdown on uh, celebrity top 10, so, so one news report 14 p.m. every day. We do have one pH at 10 p.m. It's, of course, a rerun of this one. And uh, we're also live on Facebook, One News and One PH. You can also hear us up at 92.3 News FM. Hello sa mga motoristang nakikinig ngayon. Kamusta? Thank you so much for joining us. I know a lot of people are back in the workforce on site. So kapit lang. Five days na lang, weekend na. <laughs> Para sa iba, hindi pa rin, di ba? Pero, well, we're looking at the brighter side of life. Things are working. We're healthy. But right now, also, I want to encourage you to read up on onenews.ph. We do have the, the article version of this show back there. But right now, halfway on the show, this is our topic. So the cat is out of the box, right? Last weekend, well, it's talaga iba talaga ang kalina ng intigan. Nanay Christy Perman. So, Ray P.J. Abiliana, the father or estranged father, ding, ding, ding. I'm not surprised why he's estranged, ding, ding, ding. to Carla Abiliana, he did reveal that there's a one-night stand that caused a split rumors of Tom Rodriguez to Carla Abiliana. And, well, things aren't looking pretty well. In an interview with Christy for a minute, in 1PH, P.J. also defended that a one-night sta stand stand. <laughs> Gumalukot na yung dila ko eh. Kasi nakakaloko yung sabi ni Ray PJ. Teka ha, sabi niya kasi, one night stand is not equivalent to infidelity. What? What? Listen to this. Anak, oo, hindi lang nga ang sagot. Oo, oh, oh. hindi. Nabanggit pa ni Tom sa'yo yung issue ng infidelity na touch, hindi. Infidelity, particularly sa anong... Na siya ang nahuli ni Carla na may third party pala. Nay, uh, Wala. Honestly speaking, uh, hindi po natin makukonsider na third party ang sitwasyon. Okay. Okay, Kasi po, so wala. Mm. Ah, ang pangyayari, one night stand eh. 
So hindi oh. po natin kinoconsider yun na third party. One night stand. Mm. Inaamin mo na nagkaroon ng one night stand si Tom with another girl. <laughs> okay. so, inaamin ko na yan bilang ako, lalaki ako. You know, okay. we, we could, we could, we, ako, way back, nangyayari din po yan sa akin. Mm. Eh, medyo normal po yan sa buhay ng mga lalaki. Naiintindihan mo, naiintindihan mo. Opo, opo, kaya naiintindihan ko po yan. Eh, ang, 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 ang nangyari sa tukso ay hindi po mortal sin. Uh -huh. Para sa akin, uh -huh. you know? So the two personalities who got married last October after being together for more than seven years are yet to release their statements. Actually, kung kalkulahin mo nga, eh, more than seven years pa ata si Carla and Tom dahil ang daming times na sila na, pero hindi pa nila, they weren't even going public with it yet. But let's see how they'll pick up from this. And I'm just, honestly, I'm really praying for them because it's such a tough situation, especially meron kang estranged father na ganyan yung mga sasabihin. Anyway... Singling Crown's first champion! The regular season of singling ended with a bang last weekend as they crowned Marimar Tua as their first ultimate Bina Oka star. Marimar and Michael Capilli turned on the battle between each other at the end and Marimar got the title. Here's her winning moment in interview after the finale. Grabe, sobrang hindi ko po maipalawanag po kung ano po yung nararamdaman ko. Halo-halong emosyon ako. Pero mas umaapo po talaga yung kaligayaan po sa puso ko. Dahil po sa pagkapanalo ko po dito po sa singgaling. Hindi ko po talaga ina-expect na yung dati pong yung batang nangangarap lang po sa video kahan. Ngayon po naging ultimate video officer na po ng singgaling. Kaya nagpapasalamat po sa, ako sa inyo. Nagbago po yung impact na mas marami pong nagtiwala po, nakakilala po sa akin bilang uh, singer and performer po nila sa mga events. Minsan po, kung saan ako makarating, hi, ganun po, marami pong nakakilala po at marami pong uh, nagtiwala po sa akin. Thank you po. Congratulations, Marimar! May season 2 pa po tayo ng single <laughs> We're headed back to international Hollywood news. This time we're talking about Hailey Bieber who suffered a, 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 who suffered stroke-like symptoms and a brain blood clot. <laughs> Thankfully, she's all well. Uh, she did confirm it via a statement on social media. But yes, she also did confirm that she was hospitalized in Palm Springs due to this. She said that she was having breakfast when she started having stroke-like symptoms and was taken to the hospital. She suffered a very small blood clot in the brain, which caused a small lack of oxygen. Thankfully, she is now recovered. Haley described it as one of the scariest moments of her life. And we, she is married to Justin Bieber, who recently also got COVID-19. Jane Campion wins big at the TGA Awards. So Jane took home the prize at the Director's Guild Awards for The Power of the Dog. <laughs> the awarding ceremony was held at the Beverly Hilton. So Jane won over the thea theatrical feature film nominees Paul Thomas Anderson's Licorice Pizza, Kenneth Baranage, Belfast, Steven Spielberg's West Side Story, and Dennis Villanueva for Dune. Maggie Gyllenhaal won the first time feature category for The Lost Daughter, while Spike Lee was honored at the DJ, DGA's Lifetime Achievement Award for his works in motion picture direction. All right, for number one, and dito pa rin po tayo, awards news for ya. BAFTA winners were announced. The Power of the Dog won two top honors at the recent British Academy Award our BAFTA winning Best Film and Director for Jane Campion. Man. So it's a back-to-back -back win for Jane who also won at the DJ, DGA. So talagang power of the dog ang one to watch. No? Joanna Scanlan and Will Smith won Best Actress and Best Actor for After Love and King Richard. And supporting actor and actress went to expected winners Troy Katzer of CODA and Ariana DeBose of West Side Story. <laughs> 
Guys, before we end, of course, ang reminder natin, may pandemic pa po, please stay safe, mag-mask kayo, alam ko maraming bumalik na sa field, disinfect, be socially distant, that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow, mga kapatid, makalista, makikound on Mondays to Fridays, 4.15pm on One News, would be placed at 10 on 1PH and Radio 5 on 2.3 News FM. I'm MJ Marfori. Thank you so much for joining me. Until tomorrow, ta-ta! <laughs>